Hi, my name is Rebecca Lee, and I co-wrote this book here, The Mercury Detoxification Manual, with Andy Cutler, PhD, who should have got a who should have got a Nobel Prize for what he figured out. And the book is Andy's work, and I I, I had the privilege of being able to put it into language that uh, that was easy for people to understand. But I did contribute uh, an insight or two, but mainly this is 100% Andy's work. So um, in order to figure out what year I started to write the detox manual with Andy, I went back to an old Facebook Messenger thread. It goes back to 2015 and is awfully interesting to read. He had, he'd already agreed to mentor me because of all those poor sick people out there, was how he put it. The, the thread ends suddenly in 2017 when he up and died on us like that. I sure miss him, and, and so does everybody else who knew him. One conversation we had was about a subject I know really interested him. It was how people's physical appearance has changed over time. He wanted to write a book about that. We started talking about it when I mentioned some photos of my ancestors, none of whom were overweight. Yeah, I've talked to friends about that, he said. It's the people who are about our age and below who are fat. None of the older people were. It was really rare. Also, the characteristic facial features changed, he said. Instead of a broad, flat, large mandible, we now have a pointed, thinner one that makes the lower part of our face stick out a lot more than it used to, like snouts, he said. We're getting snouty. It's really distinctive, and you intuitively can see it is different, but it takes a while to be able to put your finger on it. You can look at pictures of past and present presidents and see it. For instance, compare Woodrow Wilson and Warren Harding to Obama, W. Clinton, or Bush one. I brought up Weston Price and how he thought all these physical changes were due to diet. Yes, he replied, but without regards to his theory of causality, he made an observation and you can see it in pictures of old versus modern people. It might be food, it might be hormone mimics. I don't think there were too many hormone mimics in the 30s when you wrote, were there, I asked. No, he answered, but some, and lots of mercury, vast quantities more lead, and a lot more mercury than now, and arsenic, and those came with civilization. Do you think this stuff will ever come out, I asked? Um, as in, do you think society will ever behave sanely? I don't know. All physicians are necessarily insane if they don't figure it out. There are certainly many historical times where pathological nonsense lasted a thousand years or more. But if anything is going to work, it will be helping people get better so they can witness to it. And I said to him, I feel kind of alienated from society. I feel kind of alienated from society, he replied. Get used to it. It comes with the territory here. I think most people don't have the right background and personality to be able to do this, he added. They'd just be consumed with psychotic anger. Recently, when my Buddhist meditation group informed me that in order to meet in person, I would need to upload a copy of my certificate for that, quote, procedure that must not be named, I wrote them a letter and said that. I feel alienated. Nobody seemed to care very much. I guess I have felt alienated, like a Martian in a strange land, right from the very beginning with this odd toxicity, toxicity that affects you so psychologically. And then getting injured iatrogenically, which means the medical system did it to you, makes for alienation too. So get used to it, it comes with the territory, was Andy's advice. And that is my advice to you, to all of you out there too. Here you are, presumably you have a bunch of weird ass symptoms that have now figured out why. Welcome to the world of recovering and being whole and well again. But welcome too to the world of feeling like a Martian, alienated from society. It just goes with the territory. So please like and share and don't do all those good things. Let's get the world out, word out so this, this psychotic nonsense doesn't last for a thousand years or more. Let's recruit some people into our little world of aliens.